We camped here last night, just a couple of kilometers from this massive lagoon where hopefully we can see a whole lot of flamingos. We will also cross into Bolivia. Woo! Woo! There are so many flamingo here. Wow, look at this. Oh my God. Okay. <gasps> I'm stuck. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Yes! Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. This is like the only paved street in the whole town. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably the reason that they said no. Hola, buenas. Hola. Oh, and the doggy. Doggies. Okay, I guess we'll have to find our own way round. I'll go this way because there seems to be a mud puddle over there. Oh. <laughs> a little bit soft. <laughs> oh, here we go. I think this must be the center here. What does it say? Bienvenidos peregrinos. Okay. I uh, what? Peregrinos. So if it were to have free Wi-Fi, where would that be? Let me just try here. Oh look, they've got some llama statues here in the center of town. Cool, look at this cute little park garden. Hola! There's a nice mural here with flamingos, person playing guitar, some mountains, llama. Cool. And some huge cactuses. Oh dear. Any luck on the Wi-Fi? Nothing? Quechua. Uh, su nombre? Bruno Parga. Bruno, Bruno. Su casa aquí or? Ah, okay. Virazon, Bolivia. Ruta 40. I love you. All right, here we go. So, La Cuiaca, 36 kilometers. That is the border. This last road that we're going to be taking to the border is actually the Ruta 40. It's the same road that we took down in the south of Argentina for a long time actually, in El Calafate, in El Chalten, all the way up in the south. That was all the Ruta 40. And this is the last section of the Ruta 40 meeting up with the border of Bolivia. The perfect way to end our trip in Argentina. Yes. Okay, now we're getting into some hills. Look at this. It looks really stunning here. Wow, look at that, hey? Super cool. Yeah, what a road. And look at the quality of the road as well. Amazing. It's perfect. Some goats. You can never be sure what you're about to take on when you take on a, a dirt road that you have no idea about on one person's recommendation, but... Yeah. <laughs> but this one is awesome. Yeah, really happy. Look how much it's like winding through these hills. Amazing. So cool. So impressed by the quality of this road and the landscape. What a nice road. Let's hope everything goes smooth at the border now. Yeah, you never know with borders, hey? You never know. You never know. Yes, good old YPF. Yes. Let's ask if they have gasolina. 
I'm gonna follow this biker because he's gonna want the same. Yeah. All fueled up and ready to get to the border. <laughs> Bolivia, here we come. Oh, look, here's some overlanders. Yeah. <laughs> this is a busy place. Very busy place. So you've got people selling all kinds of stuff on the sides here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. It's like riding through a market. Yeah. Smells good though. Oh, that's the barbecue going on. <laughs> oh. I don't think they'll have any vegetarian burgers here. No, I don't think so. Whoa, look at those sausages. Wow. <laughs> okay, we're just following our GPS, but our Garmin is always a little bit weird. So yeah, kind of hoping it is the right way yeah. to the border. Yeah. says to go this way yeah La Cuiaca what a crazy place Paso de Frontera La Cuiaca skip past all these trucks that's for sure yeah I miss our rural border crossings yeah in the middle of nowhere yeah this is one of our busiest ones in a while yeah whoa look at this yeah where to go you think we have to go in here first maybe um, maybe let's ask this guy Oh yeah, the military yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I should turn off my camera. Okay. So we just parked our bumblebee and now we've got to go over here and see what we've got to do. There's a huge queue to get our stamp out of Argentina. Okay, immigration for Argentina done. Now we've got to do immigration for Bolivia, but we have another queue. And it's super windy here and all the dust is just like flying around and yeah, it's not very comfortable. Yeah, this whole border is basically a big construction site. It looks like they're building like a new border crossing. So immigration for Bolivia done. And I've given my temporary import permit back to customs. So we've got one last thing to do, and that's to get our new temporary import permit from right here at the Bolivian side of customs. Yes, we've got our temporary import permit to Bolivia. Now we've got to go reunite with Bumblebee, right on in. I think that's it. Yes, Bolivia, we are coming! Hola, buenas. Oh, okay. Okay. Hola. Pasaporte, pasaporte. Ah, pasaporte. ¿Cuántos años tienes? M a mí. Ajá. Uh, uh, 31. ¿A Bolivia dónde vas? Uh, tu pizza. Listo. Okay, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay, I think that's it. Now I think we are actually done. Gracias, chao. There we go. We've made it into Bolivia. Woo! Yes. Oh. Nice. This traditional woven fabric everywhere. That's so beautiful. Wow. And that process was not nearly as bad as we had read about online. It took us, I think, just under two hours for all four of the steps for the migration of Argentina, the immigration of Bolivia, the customs of Argentina, and then the customs of Bolivia. And now we're through. Yeah, we were a bit worried that if it was gonna take, I mean, some people online said it was taking them four or five hours to get through. So we were thinking, man, we might have to ride our last bit in the dark or something, but, but no, we're through and it's only half past three. It's awesome. So our first stop here in Bolivia is to get ourselves a SIM card so we can get online and reply to all of your comments. Oh yeah, you're totally right. But I was just following that fella. Sorry. All right. Yes, I see. Oh, okay. Down this one or this one? Okay. I think it's on the other side of here. I'm going to go up there. I'm going to go around the block. Go across. Yep. Where are the cars going? Oh, they're going down that side. Is that supposed to happen? I think uh, the Etel is here in the middle. 
Yes, it is. There you go. Entail. I'll just stay on this side. Okay. Okay, so they are cash only at this place, so we need to go to the ATM. What's the name of the Bolivian currency? Bolivar, I think. The Bolivian Bolivar. Okie dokie. So there's a bank called Bankofi, and that's what we're going to be looking for. It should be just here somewhere. Oh, I see it. Bankofi. Here. Okay, right, let's get some cash. Got some cash. Yes, yes, yes. So we also just broke our um, iPhone charging cable and we don't have any others. So I'm going to go to this little shop here and get, if I can, depending on the price, two more iPhone charging cables. I think this will be iPhone cable number five of the trip so far because they just keep, they just keep breaking. Muchas gracias. Uh, ¿Cuánto costa para una? 20 bolivianos. 20 bolivianos. Okay, muchas gracias. Yes. We have power. Success! We have completed all of our missions in the town of Villazon. We have some cash. We oh hold on. This taxi's taken over. Yeah, they drive quite mad here the taxis. I nearly saw one crashing already. So we've got to be a little bit careful, but we are heading straight out of the town now. We have some cash. We've got our new SIM card, which is six gigabytes for 20 days. And that cost about five or six pounds. So it was pretty cheap. We have also booked ourselves in at a hostel in the next town to Pisa which is 55 miles away. We said before we wanted either a pool or breakfast. Now we looked at the weather in Tupiza and because we're still at such high altitude, it's actually pretty cold at the moment. So we sort of thought, hmm, is it worthwhile to spend extra for a pool? Plus it's pretty bad weather over the next few days. So we decided to go for just the breakfast, which yes, we got. Yes, breakfast! <laughs> and the place was only around 18 pounds a night, which is not too bad. And actually the best thing on this hostel is it's called Butch Cassidy Hostel. <laughs> <laughs> so we're basically following Butch Cassidy all the way to Bolivia. <laughs> yes. And it's actually in Bolivia that Butch Cassidy eventually died in a shootout. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Oh, is that bus just... Okay, he's just like, yep, I'm going. <laughs> I'm bigger than you, <laughs> I'm going. There we go. So yeah, we have 55 Be miles careful. to... Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. Like I said, that really driving mad here. They just don't care. He kind of came up right beside me. So yeah, 55 miles to get to Tupiza, where we've got our room booked, and that'll give us a chance to rest and edit and stay there for a few days to catch up. Cool, look, they have a sign here. Bienvenidos a Bolivia. <laughs> nice, awesome. Oh my God, welcome to Bolivia. Look at this. There's like a rainstorm ahead. I was really hoping that we would be able to get to Tupiza and get to the hostel before the rain hit, but I think we might be a little bit too late. It's quarter past five now, and we knew that the storm would be coming in in the afternoon, so it's probably a good time to stop, put on some rain gear, unplug our electronics, our microphones, and prepare ourselves for a wet end of the day. Hostel Butch Cassidy. He said 70 litros. We can't take too many back roads in this in this country. They are just they're just mud roads. Oh my god. Hello. Gracias. Bolivia, Bolivia, Bolivia. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, we are here in our little hotel in Tupiza and look at the view in front. Incredible mountain views. I love it. And incredible rain. So yeah. I'm really happy that tonight is not a camping night <laughs> and that we have this room. Look at this. It's absolutely massive. This is like a palace. Look at this place. So we have a desk. We've got a massive bathroom with like a whole walk-in shower at the moment. We've got our bags in here because they need a clean off because they're covered in mud. But it's absolutely beautiful here. And after six long days on the road since we left to Anto for Gasta, it's really nice to be able to stop, take that all in and have a good rest. Yes, it was a pretty hectic day today, a little bit stressful with the border crossing. You never really know, do they let us in or is there any issues, you know? Like it's always a little bit stressful, but we made it. We are here and I'm super excited for the next leg. Yeah, it's been a stressful, not just day to day, but a stressful last like <laughs> three or four days. We've been battling storms and snow and mountains and altitude and it's been absolutely crazy, so I'm exhausted. Despite all the rain and the wetness, we were walking to town and get us a nice takeaway or a pizza or anything warm because I think we deserve it. <laughs> we definitely deserve that, yeah. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, then you can join us on Patreon. Just click the link in the description below. We will see you next time. Oh my god, I think we may have over-ordered here. <laughs> we ordered the extra grande. <laughs> it's massive. Wow. So on here we've got olives, tomato, onion, broccoli and palm hearts. It's called the Vegetariana Supreme. Yes! Amazing, absolutely amazing. Bon appetit! <laughs>